Hello, welcome back to my channel. I realize it's been three years since I made my last video. I fully intended for this channel to be a vlog that I would do regularly and I may have overextended myself, which I also did a lot for the rest of my undergrad since I made the rest of this video, but I'll dive into that later. <laughs> um, so a lot has happened since I made that last video, which I think was March or no, February of 2018. So it's been just over three years. Um, since then I changed my major. So when I made that video, I think I was still an accounting and finance double major. And I'm now just graduated with my Bachelor of Science in Communication Sciences and Disorders. For those who don't know what that is, that is a undergraduate major with communication disorders. So it's like speech, language, hearing, and balance disorders um, skewed towards um, speech and language, which is fine. Um, but that's not where my passions truly lie. There's a lot of interlap in there, which is awesome. A lot of collaboration, um, but not a lot of, like, audiology-specific, um, courses. However, I got into that major because I realized, oh, I'm passionate about this. Yes, I will be, you know, great and amazing and wonderful at accounting and finance. I promise I'm not a narcissist. I am not a narcissist, I promise. Um, but at the end of the day, like, I wasn't passionate about it, so I was, like, thinking about it, and this is, this is embarrassing. Um, so I'm deaf. I have been pretty much my entire life, and I was trying to figure out what I was passionate about. Like, I was really interested in, like, the hearing, like, talking about hearing loss and educating and advocating for people who have hearing loss and stuff like that. But I couldn't, like, figure out what I wanted to do. <laughs> and this is, a, this is so embarrassing, but it took me, like, my, almost my entire winter semester of 2018. So from, like, January to, like, sometime in April of 2018. So, like, three months, at least, to be like, oh, audiology. I could be an audiologist. This is awkward. I've been saying audiologist since I was, like, an infant, so for like the last 20 years now, I've been seeing audiologists, and at that point in time, it was like 17 years. And it didn't cross my mind until I did a lot of research, so, but it's all good. I changed my major to communication, sciences, and disorders. I just graduated my Bachelor of Science in communication, sciences, and disorders. And as of last November, I am admitted into a Doctor of Audiology program, and I'm starting that in, oh my god, three months. It's wild. Who let me into graduate school? Um, this is so weird for me. Like, I'm still, like, trying to process that, and I just can't, like, wrap my head around it. Like, I know I'm in grad school, I know I'm going, it's a really great program, and I'm super excited, but at the end of the day, it's like, I actually got into grad school. I mean, I wasn't a bad student. I was just like very average, but wow. If you if you told me like five years ago, I'd be like, oh, you're gonna get your, you're gonna get, you have a doctorate degree. And I'd be like, no, I'm not. <laughs> Maybe a master's. Mm -mm. It's so funny. Cause we thought we're gonna meet somebody like five years ago and be a different person as we are now. And then we get here now and Boy, were we wrong. I was, I thought I was going to be like an MBA straight out U of M's business school. And, and here I am becoming an audiologist. Um, but I'm really passionate about it. I do a lot of like volunteer work um, with hearing loss. So I'm a cochlear volunteer. So I mentor other cochlear implant recipients um, through Cochlear Americas, my cochlear implant manufacturer. Um, I have a really good relationship with the engagement manager and, um, for Michigan and the surrounding area. I'm not quite sure where territory is, but I think it's like Michigan and like Northern Indiana. Um, but she connects me with people all over the country with her colleagues and I mentor them 
with the cochlear implants, whether they are in like the beginning process or they are just about to have the surgery or they just got their implant and they just need some moral support or technical support sometimes in terms of like Bluetooth and connecting devices. Um, but I've been more of like a mentor and kind of a counselor, but not really. It's more of like a support system for people who need it and I really love doing that. It's really rewarding to work with other people who have a hard time with their hearing loss and are looking for solutions and so I'm helping them with that and it's a really great precursor to the audiology program that I'll be starting and eventually in my audiology career. Um, I also volunteer for the local Hearing Loss Association of America. I chair a technology committee and I'm currently working on creating a assisted listening device demo room. And I'm actually collaborating with my audiology program and HLAA and bringing that together and basically uniting that with their clinic and making that like a resource for the local area because we don't have me back up so for assisted listening devices um you can usually order it like online or through a catalog you can't really try it out you can't really ask questions it's, it's available but you just have to do your own research but this sets up is that you can come in you can ask the questions you can try it out for yourself and see what works best for you and then once you have the information you can go home and order it without having to worry about it because you already seen it in person you already asked about it and you already you know, fiddled around with it and got a feel about how it might fit into your life. So that's kind of like the idea of what this is. And then I also volunteer for Deaf and Hard of Hearing Services. Um, COVID-19 has impacted my ability to volunteer with both HLAA and Deaf and Hard of Hearing Services. But I'm hoping this summer I can kind of jump right back into it. Um, but yeah, that's... Sorry, I'm just... It's 3 a.m. I impulsively decided to film this, um, so please be nice in the comments. Um, and besides, you know, the audiology program, I also went bilateral. So when I made that first video, I've only had the one cochlear implant. Now I have two. And I can make a whole video about that if you guys are interested. Um, I went bilateral back in 2019. So I got the implant surgery in May. I was activated in June. So it's been almost two years. So I don't want to make this video super long. So if you guys are interested in that video or if you have any other questions whatsoever, please uh, leave a comment down below. And I'm really looking forward to diving into YouTube some more this summer before I am... <laughs> busy non-stop for the next three years uh with the audiology program which i'm still shook that i'm actually got this far um this is this is great <laughs> um okay i'm doing my um thing so i think this is a great time to wrap it up i actually filmed this in one shot so gold star for me i'm not going to be editing this for five hours like I did last time. Nobody's got time for that. I had time for that, but I better, you know, go to bed. <laughs> All right. Bye.